In this video, we will give a brief introduction to light path expressions and how to set up render passes using the color radiance canvases in iRay for Maya. Light path expressions, or LPEs, are one of the most powerful features of iRay and describe the propagation of light through a scene. They start from a source of light bouncing around between the objects in the scene and ultimately end up at the camera or eye. LPEs can be used to extract only specific light contributions from a render into separate image buffers, a more flexible way to create custom render passes. And unlike traditional render passes, these additional buffers are all rendered simultaneously. So how do we create these iRay render passes? If you open the render settings for iRay Photo Real, the color canvases are located under the Output tab. By default, the first canvas, Radiance 1, is set up to render with the preset All, render all the light paths. In other words, a normal beauty pass. If we start an IPR, we can see what this looks like. It's a little dark. If I go to the IFM control box, I can set the display gamma to 2.2 to compensate without affecting the rendered image. Make sure Maya's native gamma controls are disabled so you're not applying the correction twice. You may have noticed the alpha checkbox under the preset type option. We can see this in the render view if we click the show alpha button. All the scene geometry renders white, although we have some transparency associated with the curtains. Per object alpha will be covered in a later video. We could change the current beauty pass render to one of the other presets, but instead let's assign them all to new canvases. Emissive for Radiance Canvas 2, Diffuse for Canvas 3, Glossy for Canvas 4, Specular for Canvas 5, Environment for Canvas 6, and finally, a custom light path expression for Canvas 7. Every time I added a new canvas, it restarted rendering. However, as these canvases all render simultaneously, we can easily swap between them without interrupting the render itself. Also notice, we have the alpha checkbox selected for each of these new canvases. Alpha LPEs behave differently than the color LPEs. So while the beauty pass renders out true alpha, these other canvases display a grayscale image based on the surface quality being rendered, such as how diffuse, glossy, or specular the surface is. These five presets, when added together, make the sixth, the beauty pass. We can't switch to the light path expression canvas as it's not rendering. We need to type in a custom LPE expression for it to work. Here's a simple one to render a beauty pass using only the light coming from the ceiling-like mesh, which I've already tagged with the handle ceiling underscore light. Don't worry about the former syntax right now, we'll cover this in a later video. Just be aware it's easy to set up light links to some or all objects in a scene using an LPE. There's also room for an alpha LPE. We're free to type in any LPE we like, it doesn't need to be associated with the ceiling light as the color LPE is. Let's type in a simple one for the cutout alpha. That is, one with no translucency. The IRA renderer is limited to 20 custom canvases at one time, which should be enough for most uses. If you do need more, you can always set up render layers and use render layer overrides to create as many as you would like. In addition to custom canvases, we have some auxiliary canvases that generate non-photorealistic images to help with compositing and masking. Depth and distance are very similar to one another. Distance measures the depth along the z-axis in camera space, often known as z-depth. Distance measures the distance radially from the camera in the x, y and z-axis. They can both be visually tweaked in the IFM control box without affecting the rendered image, just like the display gamma earlier. To save these changes in the rendered image for 8 or 16-bit file formats, go to the Common tab and change the image format settings. Normal renders out normal information as seen from the camera viewpoint. Object ID renders out a color clown pass of the scene, automatically assigning each object with its own color and ID. If you want to change the ID manually, you can in the iRay section of the object shape or transform node. Material ID is similar to object ID, rendering a clown pass, but based on the materials assigned to the meshes instead of the meshes themselves. Material IDs are only assigned automatically. There are a couple of additional auxiliary canvases we can use if we change renderers to iRay Interactive. 
First, let's add some more of the indirect light back in by increasing the ray depth to 16. and switching the indirect light mode from none to coarse scale. If we now go to the output tab, we can see the new options, an ambient occlusion and a shadow pass. The occlusion pass looks as expected. The shadow pass is actually the light removed from the scene by the shadows. If we additively add this canvas to the beauty pass, we should be able to remove the shadows from the scene. But we can also turn the rendering of shadows on or off by switching back to the beauty pass and turning shadows and indirect lighting off in the iris section of the rendering preferences. Well, that's the end of this video. I hope it gave you a taste of the power of LPEs. For more information, go to nvidia.com forward slash iray or join us on the advanced rendering forums.